Welcome back. We've hijacked Stella's zone again. It's uh, Junior and I. You know, we got Kwame. He's behind the camera this time because people were complaining. Hey, how come you didn't cook anything, man? You were just videoing the whole time like you always do. Well, guess what? Now I'm the one doing the hands-on. Today, we're going to do something not so African, not so Ghanaian, but it's still going to be delicious or delicious depending on where you are in the world. We're going to just be doing some dry rub on some chicken that we're going to grill tomorrow and kind of make our own chipotle at home uh, meals with some chicken, beans, salsa, rice, and uh, other veggies. So stay tuned as we just uh, go through this simple chicken portion right here. All right, so we're going to start with the chicken. What we're going to do, we're going to rinse it, then we're going to season it, and we're going to put it in a bag. Real simple. We got 11 different seasonings that are going in this thing, including garlic, ginger, white pepper, badia complete, smoked paprika, pirate's bite, rosemary, dash of turmeric. We got Benny chicken stock. We got salt and some freshly grinded black pepper. So all this is going to go on, hopefully, all of this chicken. So here we go, take our piece of chicken that's been thawing for over a day here, just in the fridge. We're gonna rinse it real good, put it in our bowl, and repeat. All right guys, so uh, moving on, we're gonna take our rinsed chicken thighs we have here. We're gonna sprinkle some of the spice over top of them, flip them, sprinkle them again, put, add some oil, and toss them so that we could get that stuff all mixed in there. And that'll pretty much be it for this section. So let's mix in our spices. Oh yeah, look at all that. This is Stella's own spice right here. This is a flavor mix coming soon to the stellazone.com website. Stay tuned. We haven't even started grilling. All right, oil on top. Just a little bit. <laughs> Let's do a flip. And more spice. Let's add this into our bowl. Mm-hmm. I'll mix it around real good. Make sure the spices have covered completely. Mmm, make it smell the raw chicken and the spices. It's gonna smell even better when it's done. So we're gonna bag a lot of this up, save it for tomorrow. This might all fit in one bag. Let this kind of uh, sit overnight with all the nice spices. Let it get really in there. And we'll be growing this tomorrow on our grill on the back porch. All right guys, getting ready to cook that chicken we marinated the other day. So we've got to start up the grill for that. we got a gas grill, so let's see if we can get some excitement. And that's it. Got our aluminum foil down because we don't want the chicken on that rusty grill. We're gonna throw down some oil here in a second. Right there. There we go. See how many we can fit on here. And we fit them up. Alright guys, we're going to let this cook for about 5-10 minutes, check on them, flip them when we need to. All of it fit? Hmm? All of it fit? Yep. Okay. So yeah, it is. Here, I'll, I'll do a little something. Alright, so obviously we're using a gas grill, but hey, you could always use a charcoal grill. If you have one, a lot of people prefer charcoal. They say it tastes better or whatever. Well, that's the timer going off, so we're going to flip this chicken here. Give it another couple minutes and just see how it goes. <laughs> we're gonna do another flip. We're gonna cut one open here. See how well it is done on the inside. Yeah. Can zoom in on it. Yeah. Still a little pink in there, but not much longer. 
You don't want any pink in your chicken. That's undone chicken. So we're gonna do one more flip of all these. And it'll be done. Then we cut it up. Chicken looks to be done here. Tastes pretty dumb. Tastes pretty delicious, actually. What we're gonna do is let it kind of cook itself under some aluminum foil here for a little bit. And then we're gonna cut it up and get it ready for some chipotle bowls or chipotle burritos. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're covering it with aluminum foil just to get a little more heat to kind of cook it just a little more, just to be sure. I know steam, but. <laughs> All right, guys, so it looks like it's pretty well done. Let's cut some thick ones and make sure it's nice and done on the inside. Look at that there, no, no pink. It's nice and tender. Smells wonderful. We're just gonna chop this up, guys, and store it for when we wanna make our bowl, when we wanna make our burrito, when we wanna make a taco, or when we just wanna have a piece of chicken. You know what I'm saying? This is some thigh meat here, so this is gonna be some nice, juicy, kind of dark meat, kind of halfway dark, halfway white. This one's a little pink, but I'm not too worried about that. We're gonna reheat this stuff when we eat it anyway, so it should be good. All right, guys, you can watch me chop it up if you want, but you know what it's gonna Saving that up for a hungry day, not a rainy day, hungry day. Cut them nice and thin, so you could easily put them in your food. Heck, you could probably put this in some soup if you want. I wouldn't cook it in the soup, but you could definitely throw it in at the end, heat it up. We got a lot of chicken to cut here. <laughs> 